Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. There are so many things we protect in our lives, and we only protect what is important and valuable. But a lot of the time, we don't put much emphasis on protecting our heart. According to the Bible, we need to put a lot more emphasis on protecting our hearts. I love how one of my favorite authors, John Eldridge, says it, We are at war, and the bloody battle is over our hearts. I am astounded how few Christians see this, how little they protect their hearts. We act as though we live in a sleepy little town during peacetime. We don't. We live in the spiritual equivalent of Bosnia or Beirut. Act like it. Watch over your heart. Don't let just anything in. Don't let it go just anywhere. What's this going to do to my heart? Is a question that I ask in every situation. I love that so much because it perfectly describes how intense the battle is for our hearts. And for the most part, we are not aware of how intense the fight is. Guarding our hearts should be a top priority. And just to be clear, guarding your heart doesn't mean self-protecting or encasing your heart in lead. So no one and nothing can get to it. It doesn't mean deadening yourself to everything around you. The word guard in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 doesn't mean bar, seal, or coat in a shield of lead. In the Hebrew, keep, which is interchangeable with guard, literally means to set a watchman over it, but not just any watchman. The Lord is our watchman that protects our souls. The Lord means for us to guard our hearts by filtering our emotions, desires, thoughts and responses through the Word. And that is our primary means of defense, the Word of God. The task is simple. We are commanded to keep ourselves in His Word, and He keeps our hearts. My son, be attentive to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Let them not escape from your sight. Keep them within your heart. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 to 21. Why the command to keep these words of truth as prisoners in our hearts? Because, as the passage goes on to say, they are inmates that bring growth and the cure of our fear-drenched soul. For they are life to those who find them and healing to all their flesh. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 22. In His Word, we find life and healing. We guard our hearts as we allow His truth to live in us. And we cannot ignore the importance of minimizing the harmful things we allow into our lives. Some of the bad things are easy to identify. There is moral corruption and perverse behavior. There are other bad things that are more difficult to discern and to remove. Some of these things include a lack of faith, unwillingness to forgive, materialism, pride, and false belief systems, which can stop the flow of the wellsprings of life, just like the easily identified sins. It's time to be even more vigilant about what we allow into our hearts, Whatever is weighing us down must be rejected. We need to lay those things aside by bringing them to God. In the book of Hebrews, we read, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, who is the perfecter of our faith. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. The Lord, through His Word, 
is the guard, shield, and protector of our hearts. This doesn't mean pain doesn't come, but that when it does come, we can rest and ultimately rejoice because we know who has allowed it. Therefore, when you guard your heart, you actively monitor what goes in because eventually it will spill out. We need God's help when it comes to protecting our hearts because we can't do it in our own strength. In the book of Philippians we read, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4 verse 7 Let's ask for God's help as we keep watch over our hearts. Let's pray. King Jesus, we come before you today with hearts open and yearning for your guidance and protection. We recognize the immense value of our hearts, the core of our being where our emotions, desires, and decisions originate. We acknowledge that we have often neglected the care and protection of our hearts, allowing the influences of the world, our own flawed desires, and the enemy's lies to infiltrate and corrupt them. Father, we ask for your forgiveness for the times we have failed to guard our hearts. Cleanse us, Lord, and renew our spirits. Help us to set our minds on your truth and to guard our hearts with the utmost care. Teach us to filter our emotions, desires, thoughts, and responses through your word so that we might live lives that are pleasing to you and reflective of your truth. Lord, our heart has been broken so many times because we were not careful about guarding it and now we don't know how to move forward. The enemy has done his destructive work and we are in emotional ruin and don't know how to recover, so we cry out to you for healing. We hold on to your promise in Psalm chapter 34, which says, When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Psalm chapter 34, verse 17 to 18. We come to you for healing. Heal us and repair our broken hearts and teach us how to guard our hearts because we want our relationship with you to be much stronger. Lord, we know you want our hearts. You want us to be totally committed to you and not allow the distractions of the world to come between us. We remember the most important commandment which you taught us. Jesus answered, The most important is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Mark chapter 12 verses 29 to 30. King Jesus, we don't want anyone or anything else taking that first place in our hearts. You are first, and as we go through each day, may we continue to exalt you higher and higher in our hearts. Help us to guard our hearts daily. We recognize that we are in a spiritual battle. We often live as though we are in a time of peace unaware of the spiritual dangers that surround us. Open our eyes, Father, to the reality of this battle. Equip us with your armor so that we can stand firm against the schemes of the enemy. Strengthen our faith and resolve to be vigilant in guarding our hearts against anything that would lead us away from you. Jesus, you are our ultimate example of a guarded heart. Despite the temptations and trials you faced, you remained steadfast and true to the Father's will. Help us to follow in your footsteps, relying not on our own strength, but on the power of your Spirit within us. 
Remind us daily to turn to your word as our primary means of defense. Let your truth permeate our hearts and minds, transforming us from the inside out. As Psalm chapter 1, 19 verse 11 says, I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Lord, we recognize that we cannot guard our hearts in our own strength. We need your help, Lord. We need the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, to guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Fill us with your peace, Lord, and help us to trust in you completely. Today, we come to you with humble hearts, seeking your guidance and protection. Teach us to guard our hearts diligently, to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, and to live in accordance with your word. May our hearts be a reflection of your love, grace, and truth, shining brightly in a world that desperately needs to know you. Thank you for joining me in this prayer. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus, amen.